What's up guys, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the Skybound exclusive Alana and Marco Saga set from McFarland Toys. And this set was a Comic Con exclusive but it was also available on the Skybound website. And uh, yeah, let's take a quick look at the packaging here. I really like the packaging. I was actually hesitant to open it up because I like I really like the way it looks. I, I like the, the Saga artwork that's on there and I like the way that you're able to see the figures. Here's a look at the back of the packaging. And uh, this looks very cool too. And I really like the fact that they gave credit to the comic creators. That, that's really dope that they did that. And uh, yeah, it looks very, very cool. I really like the design of the whole thing. And the packaging is collector friendly. So you're able to take the figures out and pose them, mess with them or whatever. And then throw them back in the package. And it pretty much looks like new. So that's very cool. I was happy with that because I think I want to keep them displayed in the package. But I definitely wanted to check out the figures. So I'm very happy about the packaging. And now let's take a look at the articulation. We'll start off here with Marco. His head is able to go side to side. And he's able to look down about that much. And he could look up about that much. And his head is also able to tilt. It tilts a pretty good amount actually. And there is no kind of torso articulation. But he does have a waist swivel. But it doesn't seem to work very good. It is there though. And for his arms they're able to go all the way around and they could also come out to the side there's no upper arm swivel and he has single jointed elbows and then a swivel at the elbow and then he has a swivel at the wrist and at the hand and his hand also has a hinge i kind of feel like they didn't need to put the swivel at the wrist and at the hand feels kind of like a strange decision but yeah there it is and for his legs, they're able to go forward about that much. And they could come to the side about that much. There's no upper thigh swivel. There's a single jointed knee joint. And it only moves about that much. But then it also has a swivel. And at, at his feet, it's on a ball joint so it can move in all kinds of different directions. But they don't really tilt too much or rock back and forth or anything like that. They pretty much just go side to side. And they tilt a little bit just enough to make him help him stand. And now we'll look at Alana's articulation. Which is pretty much the same setup. But there's a few little differences. Her head is able to go side to side. And it could tilt a pretty good amount. She's able to look up about that much. And she could look down about that much. There's no kind of torso articulation. And the waist doesn't move at all. And for her arms, they're able to go all the way around. And they come out to the side. And she has single jointed elbows. That also swivel. And then she has the wrist swivel right there. But it looks kind of funny. I wish they would have left it out here. And just let the swivel be at the hand. Because the hand does hinge and swivel. And for her legs, they're able to come out to the front about that much. Then come out to the side about that much. She has a single jointed knee. Moves a little bit more than Marco's does. And then it swivels. It's a little easier to swivel because the pants aren't as baggy. And then she, it has the same kind of boots as Marco. That pretty much just swivel side to side and tilt in all other directions. But not really a full tilt or a full rocker. But yeah, they have a pretty good amount of articulation. And for their accessories... Marco comes with his sword, and he comes with the holder for his sword, and the way that works is it plugs into a little hole in his thigh, and it plugs in there pretty easy and holds in there pretty good, so that's cool. And then Alana comes with her heartbreaker gun, and she comes with this mace, which I feel like I, I've seen pictures of her with that mace, but I can't remember where she had it in the comic book. And then she comes with two sets of wings, one set that's like folded down, and that looks pretty cool. And then another set that has like an open wingspan, and I think that's dope. I like that they included both of those. And I really don't collect figures that are this scale, so I kind of just compared them to some random figures. And so here they are next to the Marvel Legends Ultimate Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then here they are next to the Diamond Select Kermit the Frog and DC Icons the Flash. And then here they are next to Funko Blindbox, Iron Giant, and Loyal Subjects, Leonardo. 
Just to give you an idea of the size. They're pretty small, these figures, actually. And here's a closer look at the sculpt. And they did an amazing job on the sculpt. I really like the way that the horns and the ears look. And this is a smaller scale than I'm used to collecting. But uh, yeah, this, the sculpt is really, really good for being such a small figure. They, they captured his face perfectly. I kind of wish that it had the green jacket under the, the overcoat that he's wearing. Because you could kind of see like the green... Uh, coming out from the sleeves here and then the green hood so I wish that it was under the jacket too but yeah they did a really good job on the sculpt just all the way around there's a lot of nicely sculpted details throughout the whole figure one thing that's kind of funny when you tilt his head back he's got like a double chin thing going on right there looks kind of funny but you just tilt his head forward and you don't even see it it's really not a big deal it just kind of caught my eye but uh yeah the whole figure is sculpted really really nice I love the way he looks holding his sword like that it looks dope it's a really nice looking figure and his shoes are nicely sculpted. And uh, yeah, the, the sculpt is really good on this guy. This is soft plastic, just so you know. And uh, one thing about these McFarlane figures is they don't really make any attempt to try to hide the peg holes or anything like that. As you can see here on the back, you could really see them. It's a little bit less noticeable on Marco because most of his details is, is closed and things like that. So... Um, the joints are hidden a little bit better and the peg holes are, are hidden a little bit better than Alana, but yeah, you could still cut, you could see them, you know, and let's take a closer look at Alana and because she has less clothes, like the peg holes and stuff like that, you're able to see them a lot more. It looks kind of funny, but aside from that, they did a really nice job on the sculpt for her. I really wish that they left out this, uh, wrist swivel cause her arm is skinny and it kind of just looks funny. And then on the back of mine, I have a little paint mess up, as you can see right here. But aside from those things, I think they did a really good job. I think the sculpt is perfect for her, too. And uh, I really like her head sculpt. I think it came out really, really nice. And I like the fact that you have the option to pose her with the wings put down and with their wings expanded. I think that's very cool. And uh, yeah, they, they did a really good job. The, the sculpt is really dope on these things. But yeah, the, those shoulder peg holes, man, those things, yeah, those things are hard to ignore, but. But yeah, all the details on the clothes look really nice. The jeans look really cool. Her boots look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, they did a really nice job on her too. There's a few things that I wish were diff that I wish were different, but. And you can see right here on her inner elbow, something going on, but I could probably just slice that off. So that's not a big deal either. But uh, yeah, she's cool, man. They did a really good job on her. I wish they'd figure something out for those peg holes, though. And then something I thought was really cool is the fact that they both have wedding rings. That's that's dope. I, I kind of missed that the first time when I was looking at them. But th that's really important, so that's dope that they have that. So overall, I'm really, really happy with this set. I really don't buy too many of the McFarlane Toys figures, only because I'm not really a big fan of the articulation setup, and I'm not a really big fan of the scale. But uh, when they announced that they're coming out with these Saga figures, I was really excited because I'm a huge fan of the Saga comic. And I kind of feel like there won't be an opportunity to buy too many Saga figures in the future. Uh, I hope I'm wrong about that, though, because I'd really like if they did a whole line of Saga figures. I'd probably buy every single one of them. Because as dope as these figures are, I kind of feel that they're incomplete without Baby Hazel. But, you know, we'll see. Hopefully they come out with the whole line of Saga figures. That, that would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, they did a really good job on these two. The sculpt is definitely there. And, uh, you know, as far as the articulation, I knew what I was getting into when I picked these up. So, you know, I really couldn't be disappointed. As long as they posed pretty, as long as they posed okay and the sculpt was there, I was bound to be happy. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely the case. You could get some cool poses out of them and they killed it with the sculpt. So, you know, I'm definitely happy with these guys. And, uh... And if you haven't already, I strongly suggest checking out the Saga comic book because it's probably like the dopest comic book out right now. It's really, really good. There's like six volumes out, so you could grab them all and binge read them or whatever you want to do. It's it's a really amazing comic book. In fact, I think Image is putting out the best comic books right now. Um, I'll, I've always liked, you know, Marvel. I've always been a Marvel guy. I do like DC, but yeah, Image is killing it in my opinion. I really like the kind of stuff they're putting out. And this was a Comic-Con exclusive, but I think that they were selling it on the Skybound website too, so I'll leave a link in the description below for that. And big thanks to my boy Martsky from Geek Foolery for picking this up for me. Uh, he has a cool YouTube channel where he does unboxings and things like that, so if you're into that kind of stuff, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to check out CoolToyReview.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you like the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And that's it. Thank you very much. Peace. <music>